Hello, this is your board report for May 2016. I uh, just want to give you a quick overview of a couple of major activities of our most recent board meeting. Uh, we started our day with a board work session for about three hours, working with the board and executive staff on the board's vision for the future of the ESD, the goals of our organization, and how we work together toward those goals. It was a great conversation, lots of open dialogue between the board, uh, within the board, and uh, within our executive staff. Lots to follow after that, but one of the biggest things is going to be revisiting our current strategic plan. Uh, just so you know, our framework will stay in place, close the gap, grow our people, influence change. But uh, the work underneath those three broad areas has reached pretty much end of life. We've done everything that we set out to do over the last five years. So we'll be renewing that plan and creating a roadmap for the next five years for us as an organization. The board's role is really helping us understand what the expectations are, uh, what our goals should be, and uh, some broad overview of strategies that we should consider employing. Lots of work ahead in that space and uh, I'll provide more updates as we go. The regular board meeting started at 12 o'clock on the 11th of May and uh, we went through usual agenda. Uh, we typically provide some recognition for exemplary service to the ESD and we had that on uh, track for this last board meeting. Unfortunately, many of the staff we wanted to recognize were unavailable for that event, so they'll be coming to join us in June. So just as a foreshadowing, we will be recognizing the great work of nearly 50 years by our current what we call we OA program staff. Those are the folks who provide support to young people who are transitioning into the world of work. And uh, they have just provided exemplary service uh, over these last many decades. And quite honestly and sadly, uh, the competitive grant process that we were a part of uh, was not successful in this last funding cycle. And so after nearly 50 years of service, we'll be wrapping up that program area. So it'll be a bittersweet moment, but we want to recognize the amazing work of our staff and uh, provide them the, a much needed board appreciation for the services they've provided in that area. Uh, the board meeting really flowed as usual at the beginning, consent agenda review and approval with our preparations for staffing plans for this coming year. So it was fairly lengthy uh, document at least for our board's review. Updates from our early learning Head Start program provided by Pam Grisby Jones. Uh, Matthew Solomon, our new assistant superintendent for early learning will be joining us. His first day on the job is July 1st and so we're in a transition phase. Uh, we're working to update our Head Start uh, financial grant application, possibly expanding some of our Head Start services uh, and uh, making application related to that. And then we received notification from the federal funder of Head Start, federal government, uh, that they're providing some additional resources for our Head Start program for a cost of living adjustment for our program staff, continuing to work uh, as it relates to that. Cal Brody provided an overview of the ESD's fiscal health, and the good news is we continue to be on a good fiscal position. Uh, we're right where we expect to be for this time of year, and we're really deep into the budget preparation process for the coming year. Our board will review and approve, we hope, our budget in July uh, so that we can begin to prepare for activities of the 2016-17 year. Cal provided a fiscal overview of our budget development process for the board, including a briefing on our agency indirect processes, the major building blocks of our budget, including uh, how ESD budgets are different from school district budgets, and the timeline for us to complete the budget development process. Next meeting uh, in June, we'll have a more thorough overview of our budget, which will then be presented to our Regional Executive Advisory Committee of Superintendents and uh, once finalized, presented to our board in July for their review and a request for approval. Other informational items provided to the board were a continuing discussion about the possibility of the ESD assuming ownership of the CISPUS Learning Center. The Principals Association leads the work of student leadership development and uh, the camp activities at CISPUS Learning Center. And uh, we have recently learned there's the possibility that uh, the federal government, the Forest Service, might consider conveying or transferring the ownership of that property and the associated buildings to another governmental agency. We're working with the Principals Association to more fully understand what that would look like and uh, we're providing a briefing to the board with regard to the potential for that project. More to follow as uh, we slowly move forward uh, in that effort. Jody Petrovich, our uh, Executive Director for Human Resources, provided an overview of the current status of our most recent salary study. 
As you may know, our salary compensation system is really um, supported through four major building blocks as we review how we provide equitable compensation for our staff. Uh, the first is uh, the steps increase model that we have uh, across our organization as folks uh, work longer in their roles there's the potential to grow in our salary scale uh, we also take a look at a cost of living adjustment uh, each year to see if that's appropriate third we look at uh, one-fourth of our entire organization every year so on a four-year annual cycle we review all of our positions to see if they remain competitive with job alikes uh, across the state and then finally, individuals, uh, their program staff can uh, provide some requests for their position review to see if the roles and functions that they serve have dramatically changed uh, over the past year. So Jody provided an overview of this cost of living adjustments uh, history as well as the results of our salary study and the adjustments that are being recommended uh, to the board. The board will include that in their budget adoption cycle, uh, which will be, as I mentioned earlier, uh, part of the July board meeting. So once approved, our budget uh, will include changes in staff compensation as recommended uh, through our most recent process. Another informational item provided to the board is one of their report areas. They requested that Mike Hickman and team provide an update to them about alternative routes to graduation. Mike provided a very thorough overview of how students can move from their high school experiences through to graduation, how credits can be earned in non-traditional ways. Uh, it was a very thorough and uh, interesting exploration of students' learning experiences, things from running start to college in the classroom to learning outside of the traditional high school setting. Uh, so it was a great opportunity to learn about some changes that have happened since many of us probably were in high school under a more traditional model and see the options that are available to students. Internal to the board, they had their discussions on the legislative process, uh, not much happening there, but a focus on our state's association. Rick Anthony, our board member, will be assuming uh, the leadership role as the chair of the Association of Educational Service Districts here in Washington. At the most recent state convening of ESD boards and staff, Rick, in his inauguration address, if we can call it that, I guess, uh, said, you know, I want to issue a challenge to all of the ESDs to explore opportunities that are open to them and come back one year from now with a report on what opportunity they identified and how they went about addressing that as an ESD. Rick will be assuming a two-year term of office starting uh, this June a great opportunity for him to connect directly to our state's association of ESDs and for us as an ESD to be more closely connected to that work as well. I provided a brief report to the board regarding my goals, transitions of superintendents in our region, and uh, the calendar ahead for uh, the ESD. In terms of board action, uh, the primary area was review and approval of some changes in our policy framework and a review of the board's calendar of work for the coming year with a review also of our proposed staff uh, work calendar as well. More to follow, I'm certain. Looking forward to seeing all of you uh, over the course of this next month. If at any time you have any questions about board and leadership activities, please feel free to stop by, send an email, or call. Our next board meeting will be June 15th, uh, well with the opportunity to recognize staff as I've mentioned and also review a detailed uh, presentation regarding our budget in preparation for the July review process. Wishing you all the very best and hope you have a great month. Take care.